Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Roleplay Oblivion. As you will remember, we are in Coral. Um, because we're up here looking for someone named Publius Candidus, a um, former legionary officer. Commander, I think. Um, we're looking for him because the Lord of Way, Maxentius Alosius, has apparently been rather tyrannical with his... Uh, I don't know, what would you call them? Feudal serfs, I guess? I don't know. But he's been treating them like crap. Um, and we're up here at the instruction of Lucius Decimus, the former legionary and current runner of the archery store in Way. Um, we snuck into Maxentius Alosius's manor, stole his ledger, which revealed that he's been bribing guards, and uh, have come uh, to see Publius about, well, we don't really know what about. We're going to show him the ledger and see what Publius has to say um, about what we should do with it. Um, but while we're in Coral, we are going to take a brief look around. And I think we're going to stop by the Fighters Guild. And see about possibly joining. Looks like it's still rather early. 10:21 p.m. Did I not sleep? I didn't sleep. What the hell? How is that possible? Wait, what? What day is it? Monday? The 10:21. I have no idea if I slept. I don't think I did. Somehow. <laughs> what? I load the wrong save or something? Maybe I loaded an autosave when I meant to load... Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Fine. Right. Well, anyway. What we ate just now counts as breakfast. I'm not going to eat again. That's goofy. I was wondering why it was so dark outside. There we go. That's more like what it should look like. Ah, yes. Morning light. Hello? Um, oh yes, much more empty. And there's nobody dancing, that makes sense. Okay. So we have... Oh, 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 something I want to take care of really quick. I need to clean up my journal. I think it's getting a bit messy. So let's do that when we get outside the door here. If we get outside the door. These loading screens are taking forever. That's Open Cities Reborn for you, though, I suppose. So, with regard to the Fighters Guild, why is Nebish joining? Well, a few reasons. Say your piece or stand aside. Excuse you, Eric the Ice Storm. Uh, a few reasons. Let's... Who are you? Mine. Sit down right here by the... Oh, very pretty pool. La Pieta, apparently. Uh, Nebish doesn't know what that looks like, but... Pem knows it looks like La Pieta. Uh, right, let's just sit down right here and take a look at our journal. Why are we thinking about joining the Fighters Guild? Well, a couple reasons. Um, one is that we're actually... Uh, Nebish is starting to get a bit confident, perhaps overconfident, about his combat skills. He's come a long way from being thrown out of um, the Ordinators, and he's starting to think, hey, you know what, I can hold my own against some pretty tough enemies, and I know that discretion is the better part of valor, so maybe I can be considered a, a fighter, a warrior, be a member of the Fighters Guild. Um, another part of it is that every place that he's gone, except here in Coral, the Fighters Guild has been locked up except one uh, day, I don't know if it was a morning or an afternoon, in Braville where he was able to walk inside. And he's seen a couple different instances in Skingrad and in Braville where there have been dangerous enemies about in the town itself. Uh, a mountain lion in Skingrad. Of course, he didn't see the mountain lion live, so I'm just going to pause it just for a second so the time doesn't pass while I'm in this menu. Um, 
He didn't see the mountain lion live, I guess. Um, but he does know that it killed Agni the Pickled and somebody called Nams Yukos. Um, and the Fighters Guild did apparently not send anybody out to help defend the town. Likewise in Braville, when Nevish actually led that spectral warrior back into town from way in Dawik, way something like that. Um, Fighters Guild didn't send anybody out to help, even though there was a dangerous spectral warrior on the loose in the town. So, uh, Nevish thinks to himself, hey, these Fighters Guild blokes aren't really worth their salt if they don't get out and defend their own hometowns when they're under attack. So there's partly that he thinks he's getting better, he fancies that he could actually consider himself a fighter now, and partly that um, he thinks that maybe he could teach the Fighters Guild a thing or two about how to properly run their organization. Uh, and a third, very, very minor thing is that he wants um, the additional respect and admiration that comes with being a member of a major guild. Uh, as I said, I think at the very beginning of the LP, he wants to be, someday, a leader of men. And he sees the Fighters Guild as perhaps an organization where he could, uh, if displaying the proper skills and, and valor, rise through the ranks, uh, perhaps to some kind of leadership position. Uh, there's that, and then there's also the fact that uh, the, the additional respect will gain him entry into the library in the Imperial City, which is something else that he'd like to check out. So, anyway... Back to the journal. Uh, show hidden. Right, so what's hidden? Um, this is the dream. This is actually the main quest. That's hidden for a reason. Joining the Mages Guild. We're hiding that because we're never going to join the Mages Guild. Mysterious wood elf named Glarthir. The Glarthir quest is hidden because we'll never do that. Knife in the dark because that's Dark Brotherhood. We'll never do that. Uh, this is the one golden saint lady outside of the Imperial City. Excuse me, we've hidden that because we don't think there's anything else we can do with it right now. The asking price for the ruin that she wanted to buy was way too high. Gift of Kinnereth. I think we'll hide this one. This is a modded quest that I don't think we're going to end up doing. Or at least not soon. Maybe when we're around the Silverfish River we'll look into it. Uh, a group calling themselves the Society of Concerned Merchants has hired me to investigate a new store that's just opened up in the Market District. Okay, this is the Thornier quest. We'll leave it for now because we did say we would address it someday. Completed the quest given by one merchant in the Imperial City. There's still one awaiting my help. That is the orc in uh, the, the weapons shop, Slash and Smash. He's asked us to do some dungeon diving for him. We'll leave that one because we do plan to do it. This is... Uh, Nilawen, looking for her grandfather's pickaxe. The reason we accepted this is because there are goblins involved. All the places that she named contain goblins, and we definitely want to check that out. So, abandoned mine, collapsed mine, and deserted mine, which, all three of which are on our map. We have deserted mine, collapsed mine, there's a bandit mine. It's on the east side of the Nibbin, she said. Maybe you guys are seeing it. I'm not seeing it, though. Lewin Docks. Uh, Fort Sejanus. I don't know. It's somewhere. Maybe you guys can see it. I cannot, though. For a sec. Also, I think we have... Oh, I was going to say, I think there's some Aelid runes marked out here because of the Nord in the Skingrad trader who was like, hey, maybe you can help me find something or other, and it's in some Aelid runes, but I think we told him no, so maybe they're not marked on our map because we told him no. But someday we'll do that one, I think. I'd like to do that one, anyway. Anyway, I don't, I don't see the third mine. Deserted mine, collapsed mine. There's an abandoned mine. I think was the name of the third one that we should find somewhere. But anyway, whatever. Let's go back to the journal. Um, so we're keeping that one. Cinderia, twenty samples of Nurnroot. Keeping that one. 
Shaman of the White Skins Tribe. All right, that's the Sir Elaine quest. Keeping that one. Grantham's map in my possession. With it, I should be able to find the location of his treasure. I'll hide that one because we won't be doing it till we get over to the river, the, the Panther River. I've been told the Fire's Guild is looking for new members. I should speak to Velena Daunton and Coral. Okay. Asan and Anvil or Burrs Grow Kash and Chaden Hall if I wish to join. I'll keep that one because I'm going to be doing it in a moment. Last of the goblins has been killed. The threat has been eliminated, but what at cost? Many villagers lie dead, and there's still the mystery of what the goblins wanted in the first place. This is Farago. All that remains to do for now is to see to burying the dead. Leave it, because I'm sure something will come back. Thelonius wants me to find and explore. This is a way quest. Goblin where he's ambushed. Inside he wants to know if I can find either his friend, Elahai, the remains of his trade goods, or both. Keep that one active as well. Uh, Candidus's farm. Okay, 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 so there wasn't too much to clean up then. Keeping everything active, basically. I think we put one to hit in Grantham's map, yeah. Okay. 813. We didn't spend too much time doing that, that's not bad. Right, let's do the Fighter's Guild first. Oh god, game, don't crash on me. We'll check out the bookstore, we'll check out the chapel. And I think we'll just probably head to the farm, because there's not too much else here that we really want to... See. <clears throat> you may speak. Oh, hello. You're not afraid of trouble, are you? You'd like the Fighters Guild. Ah. Fellow Dunmer with a Mohawk. That encourages Nebish that he's uh, in the right place. How do I go about joining the Fighters Guild, then? If you're interested, see Valena Donton in Coral. Okay, that's enough, because I'm in Coral. Don't get too many folks passing through here these days. No? Those Odell boys ought to know better. Leave troubles like that to the town guard. That's what they're paid for. Afraid I don't know Odell what you're talking boys about. say creatures of some sort are attacking their farm. Went off on their own to stop them. Poor father's worried sick. Hmm. That quest does involve goblins, but since he did not specifically mention goblins, I don't think we'll bother. Modrin, it is nice to meet you. I do intend to join the Mages uh sorry, the Fighters Guild. Goodbye. I will seek out Valena Dont. Have you heard about the fighters? Whoa, that dude was cut and he looked like the Hulk. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? I understand Daedra worship has become increasingly prevalent in the Somerset Isle. Hmm? The Ultima have powerful wizards. Hello. Well, good work, good pay. Want to join the guild? Yes, actually. You Take too. care. You too. Where is this Lena Danton, Adam? Another orc. Gers Grobarath. <gasps> Excuse me. Greetings. How may I help you? Are you perhaps interested in joining the Fighters Guild? I am, in fact. How do I... Well, tell me about the Fighters Guild first before I decide to join. The Fighters Guild is a brotherhood of warriors. We provide a service to Tamriel, lending steel and shield steel. to those who need our help. Whether that means ridding a town of an invading menace or protecting a helpless mage, we'll take the contract. Sorry if you guys can hear that. There's a cat outside my door meowing like crazy. Um, Vilena, my name is Nebish. I would like... Oh, I'm actually... Sorry. Vilena, my name is Nebinor. I would like to join the Fighters Guild. The Fighters Guild is always looking for new members. If you've got a clean record and don't have a bounty on your head, <laughs> we may be able to use you. Hmm. Are you interested in joining? Yes, but about that bounty, I may owe a bounty of five gold in Bravil? Does that bother anybody? Excellent. You are now no, an associate not. in the Fighters Guild. You should report to either Azan in Anvil or Burrs Grow Cash in Shadenel for contracts. I see. Thank you. And uh, can you explain to me about advancement? How does that work? You will advance through the ranks of the Fighters Guild when you have proven your merit. As you complete contracts and fulfill your duties, you'll be promoted to the next station, accepting the associated duties and responsibilities. 
Be aware, though, that your rank can be stripped for failure to uphold the tenets of the Guild or at my discretion. I see. Very well. Something else to tell me about the Fighters Guild that's not what you said before? See us on in Anvil, or... No. Rumors? I'm thinking of heading over to Renoir's to buy some books. There's quite a selection. I was thinking a similar thing, actually. Just do your job. Thank you, Elena. Uh, it's an honor to be considered a member of the Fighters Guild, I suppose. I don't know. I don't really know jack shit about you guys, but... I like the idea that people will be paying more attention to me. <laughs> yes, hello! Greetings, my Dunra brother. Yes, Modrin, Dunra brother, yes. Um, what do you want? I'm now a member. You will advance through the ranks of the Fighters Guild when you have proven your merit. I see. As you complete contracts and fulfill your duties, you'll be promoted to the next station, accepting the associated duties and responsibilities. Hmm. Be aware, though, that your rank can be stripped for failure to uphold the tenets of the guild, or at the sole discretion of the guild master. Yes, she explained that. Yes? What's our current disposition? Looks like they can handle a bully. 61, I'm not going to mess with that. I see. He likes me quite a bit, which I like. I like that there is a Dunmer in the moral... The moral? The coral mage... Uh, oh god, I'm going to keep calling it mages. The coral Fighters Guild. Whom I could consider myself a friend of, perhaps. That's great. Copper ring. That would be stealing. Uh, which makes sense. I'm only a new member, after all. Okay. Well, I guarantee we probably won't be doing any Fighters Guild quests until we get to... I don't know, Chaden Hall? I don't foresee us getting to Anvil before we get to Chaden Hall, but then again I never thought we'd actually get to Coral before we got to Leowin, so anything's possible in this LP. Hello! Greetings, Dunma. Thank you. Greetings. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome. Uh, welcome? No. Uh, greetings. Have mercy. Just oh, Vivek. The things you One compel me to do. Coin, and I can get a pair of shoes. Thank you, kind sir. Vivek is the whole reason I'm in this town in the first place. Hoggle and Ursa needing uh, assistance. That they were impoverished. They were out of doors. They were poor, and they needed assistance. And Vivek commands us to give alms and take care of the poor. And therefore, I Nebish find myself here in Coral. Visiting Hello there. this guy. Looking for our services. Do you have somebody who actually takes... Uh, Temple of Stendar. Uh, do you have somebody that actually takes donations? You may browse through our selection of potion, ingredients, apparatuses, and spells we sell here. If you are diseased, wounded, or have damaged attributes, we can help you for the right price. You can also donate septums if you have spare septums to get rid of. Any profit earned with the use of our services goes in the coffers of the temple. The gold is then distributed amongst the beggars and poor populace of the region, or used for funding the Crusaders. Who is the donations collector? Adept Hawkford, which is the baddest ass name ever, takes care of the donations. He's also responsible for managing the lodgings and food we offer, blah 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 blah. <laughs> oh, there was a question earlier about the alchemist, but apparently I can't ask it now. Thank you. Um, I want to know about the alchemist. Who are the alchemists? Master Snedbreer brews potions while Diviner Estricus sells them. Very good. Thank you. Tourists. Morning. Ah, Hawkford. Oh what? my gosh. You are the very first... Uh, lodging? Food? You're the very first donations taker I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Tell me about the Crusaders. Uh, uh, Dunmer dude mentioned them. The Crusaders are the knights of our god, Stendar, god of mercy. They protect the temple of Sten uh, temples of Stendar and act as his compassionate blade when the situation demands. I see. 
Tell me about this temple of Stendar. Our god is the god of mercy, Stendar. Some mock our compassion, calling us sentimental fools and tender hearts. But the truth is that everyone, no matter their strength, crawls to us when Sai, the god of luck, deserts them as he is prone to do. Our gift to the traveler is a simple one. We heal those who are in pain. For more complicated ailments, diseases, and poisonings, we direct you to the temple of Kinnereth, which I don't think we've encountered yet. With due respect, for they are the finest apothecaries, and we the finest chirurgeons. What the hell is that? If one possesses the desire and aptitude, one may fi uh, join the temple. But we desire to help all Tamrelians. We only possess the means to train and assist a small handful. Sometimes it is best to begin one compassion with oneself. Fair enough. May I make a donation, uh, Farik? The poor and needy are Stendar's priority. No other god can claim to be as generous as Stendar. It is no wonder we are the most frequented temple. Oh, shit, I missed something. How much would you wish, uh, would you be interested in donating to the temple? Fifty? Thank you for this kind donation. I presume now I can go get a blessing. We'll see. What's this about food? With that outfit of yours, you could get all the food you want. Excuse me? Oh, maybe I'm, like, begging for food, but he's saying I look like I am well uh, accoutred enough to be able to buy my own food. Lodgings? Stendar has always been merciful on the beggars and the homeless. As such, he offers free beds to those in need. You seem to be in need, aren't you? Would you like a roof over your head for the night? This is a kind and generous gesture. I think I'd say no, though. Thank you. We will forever continue to teach ten to Stendar's lessons and live by them. Yeah, I don't I don't anticipate being uh, in town another evening, but we'll see. Where are any uh, shrines of way shrines of Stendar? I don't know that I've seen any in in the wild. There are few way shrines of Stendar and Cyrodiil. Thankfully, one of them is easy to find. It lies on the road linking Bravil and Leowin. If you are feeling more adventurous, though, there is one southwest of Coral. Near an old imperial fort. Right. Okay. Bye. Thank you, Hawkford. Very, very helpful. Greetings. Greetings. Um, I'm just trying to talk to anybody that looks like they're leaving. Falsed Musilius. What? I said Falsed Musilius. Tell me about the Crusaders, of whom you seem to be a member. We, the Knights of Stendar the Merciful, call ourselves the Crusaders, for it is our sacred duty to protect the temple and fight its battles. While we firmly espouse the temple's philosophy of compassion and charity, we recognize that if the temple is weak, it cannot realistically survive. Understandable, I think. Much like uh, the Tribunal Temple. Very well. Good day. Good day, sir. Excuse me. Eroldur. I welcome you. Are you looking for our services? No, actually, I think I know who to talk to about the services. I think I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow. An orcish acolyte. I welcome you. Are you looking for our services? Uh, no. You sell spells, Let's though. Do business. Mark Corpse, Lesser snow, uh, Slowfall. Snowfall? No. Seductive Charm. Moonlight. Heroism, heroism, heroism. Detect Danger. Scry Combat. Uh, reflect Damage. Translocation. Translocate to target. Oh, okay. Restoration, fortify, restore, psychic. Hmm. Refreshment. Seems like restoration mainly is the realm of Stendar's spells. Just go away. Oh, okay. Good God in heaven. Uh, Hello. Go ahead, please. Lunia, very pretty name. Uh, nothing new there. Goodbye. Hello? Make it quick. Sned Breer the Brewer. 
Uh, you had some service. I forget what it was, though. I'm a potion brewer. I can sell you apparatuses and ingredients to brew your own potions. Diviner Ezdricus takes care of selling the potions I brew if you don't want to make your own. Thank you. So you don't trade, but I need to look for Ezdricus, huh? Rumor has it the Nerevarine has left Lothian on an expedition to Nerevarine? And has not been heard from since. It is not surprising, considering Morrowind's violent... Caius what? Catrasso. I'm looking for someone named Ezdricus. I suppose you don't know where he is, though. Goodbye. Take care. Greetings, Dunmer. Huh. God, that's laying on the floor over there. Don't know what that's about. Stendar, God of Mercy, says, Be kind and generous to the people of Tamriel. Protect the weak, heal the sick, and give to the needy. Well, that's good, because that's what we're doing with this quest that we're on. Stendar, may we have a blessing? Oh, God damn it. Okay, fine. This about? Are any of you Endricus? Are you Endricus? No, How you're Hawkford. Endricus is apparently not about, which is a shame, because of all the people yes. here at the temple, he's the one you most like to talk to. Oh well, anyway. I wonder if there's a, a minimum donation you have to make to get a blessing, maybe like a hundred septums or something, and I just didn't reach it. Jerlyn Duran. Rena Bruant. What is everyone doing right here? Let's take a look around the north side of town and then we'll head out to the farm. Oh no, we're gonna. I said we'd stop by Renoir's books. Nice, a lot of green space here. Ah, the cemetery. Yes. Exit out of Coral to the north. And there is enough there to crash the game. Well, gang, the game crashed. I'm going to chalk that up to a combination of Open Cities Reborn and the unique landscaped LOD. Because I think the game was like, Hey, we're handling this pretty well. This play session's gone great. Coral's been fantastic. Maybe a little bit of lag here and there, but no crashes. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm going to look outside this gate. And the game's like, holy shit, he's looking outside the gate. Ugh! And then it spilled its beer all over the console, and that was the end of that. Nermus the Mooch, huh? This is the Grey Mare, which is the crappy inn we were told about, which Nebish would prefer to not be seen sleeping in, so we'll move on. Yeah, a lot of green space in this city. What is all this, then? Houses, then? Hmm. Well, and a castle right up there. Uh, we won't bother with the castle right now. We don't have any reason to go there. Let's check out one store we want to see: uh, the bookstore. Renoir's books. What is it, Sarah? Oh, you're the Dunmer from the the temple. Very cool. Hello. I'm so hungry. Oh, did I give you a coin already? I can't remember. I think I did. Here, have another one. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Okay, I see Reynold Germain, but I have not actually heard that myself. I think that was the topic we walked past somebody talking about. Renoir's books. Ah! What a quaint little store. Hello. Welcome to Renoir's Books. I'm the owner, Estelle Renoir. Look around. If you don't see what you want, please ask. I confess, madam, I expected uh, a male proprietor. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Let's see. Less rude song. Biography of Baron Zaya, which is interesting, but that's not the the real story. Dusk and Dawn, Brief History of the Empire. 
Captain's Guide to the Fishy Stick. My gods and emperor, Galarian, gods and worship, grasping fortune, great houses of Morrowind. I, Nebish, would be interested to see what they have to say about the great houses of Morrowind. Where Nebish is from, the great houses don't really play much of a role. But I'll wait for now. Guides, including one to Balmora, of all things. Guide Empire 4, High Rock. Guide Empire 5, Hammerfell. Hands of Almalexia. I will buy that. Because it has to do with Morrowind. And House of Troubles, because that you also has to do with a hard bargain. Legal Basics, Legions of the Dead. Arms, Spellcraft, Marksmanship Lesson. Um, Poison Song, that's a good one. The Real Baron's Eye. That's a series I'd like to buy, but given that they only have th volumes 3 and 4 here, I think they had more at 1st uh, edition in the Imperial City, but I didn't buy them there. Storm Rider's Scroll. Resist Shock 100%. Oof. That's a pretty impressive scroll right there. Sunchild. Um, breaking uh, the roleplay for a moment. Sunchild is the name of the sword that Variax found in... I don't even remember what the hell the ruin was. But he found it in a ruin. I imagine this book is added by the same mod that added Sunchild, which I think is a Skuro's Oblivion Overhaul. Which makes me wonder if this book is supposed to accompany the sword. So, like, if you read this book, does it have something to do with the sword and why you find it where you do? I would buy it to find out. But it's almost 1,800 gold. Hey! Wait a minute. Wasn't there a Baron Zaya up here? Biography of Baron Zaya, yes, but... Uh... Wasn't there like a th volumes three and four of a? Did I miss something? What did I miss? King Edward. King e King Edward is a long one, you guys. Ten volumes, and each volume is very, very long. I think it's actually more than. T I think it's twelve volumes. Real Baron's Eye three and four. So what's the difference then? Is this the one from Daggerfall, which is like the old X-rated version? Maybe. This is the more recent PG rated version. Waters of Oblivion, Wolf Queen, Volume 8, Thirsk. Okay, that's enough, I suppose. God, I'm, I gotta find a place to drop all this stuff. I, don't, I don't, appreciate can't, your business. Can't carry any more dead weight. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I will be back someday, maybe, for that Sunchild book. Right. Now. 2.30 in the afternoon. Good God. Um, going to the Candidas farm. We should eat some lunch first. Sit right here on the fountain. Not the fountain, the pool. It's not really a fountain, is it? Eat some lunch. Uh, water. And... Bread and apple. Let's do this. For Ursa and Hoggle. For Ursa and Hogbreath. That's Hoggle. Hoggle, sorry. Them's my rightful property.